sahabat harmonik semuanya yang baik hati, bagaimana kabarnya hari ini? Semoga kita selalu dilancarkan segala halnya oleh Sang Maha Kuasa, diberikan kesehatan dan kemudahan dalam berbagi kebaikan. VOB, grup band cadas yang digawangi tiga personel wanita asal Garut kini makin dikenal di kalangan penikmat musik dan musisi baik lokal maupun mancanegara. Namun ada satu hal yang ingin saya utarakan, bagaimana jika VOB membuat sebuah terobosan dengan menggunakan sistem advertising, baik lokal maupun internasional, seperti halnya band besar luar negeri yang selalu memakai sistem ini, dan tentunya akan sangat mudah dan cepat dikenal masyarakat internasional, dan tentu saja akan mempercepat perkembangan VOB menjadi grup band besar. Bagaimana tidak, skill dan performa mereka sudah bisa dikatakan lebih dari cukup. Dan seperti halnya yang diutarakan oleh seorang reaktor di video ini, VOB kurang terekspos, padahal kemampuan mereka sudah sangat bagus dan setara grup band besar lainnya, dan bahkan menuai pujian ketika melihat performa mereka secara langsung konser di atas panggung. Dan satu hal lagi, reaktor di video ini sepertinya kompak dalam mengucapkan badas player. Baiklah sahabat harmonik pecinta musik yang baik hati, sekarang mari kita langsung saja simak bagaimana mereka memberikan tanggapan atau reaksinya. Dan seperti biasa, link sumber sudah tersedia di bagian deskripsi jika sahabat ingin melihat reaksi mereka secara utuh. Dan seperti biasa, dukung terus VOB dan juga channel ini. Terima kasih, selamat menonton. Pretty good crowd. What an audience, wow. huh? That sounds Holy moly, okay, they have so much energy and I always admire anyone who plays an instrument and sings at the same time. To me, that is just not easy. I absolutely love, 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 love it. Ah, they have such attitude and I mean for a three-piece band, they have such a big sound and they are such good players. I just and stage presence. They have so much stage presence. Let's go back to here one more time. And this song, I have to say that this is such an epic song because any song where you hear the first few notes and you can recognize that song immediately is like an evergreen, an epic song, a timeless song. And they picked an amazing song that just like so is in alignment with who they are and what they're doing. And they're obviously nailing it. I mean, I haven't even heard half of it yet, but I, I'm already so old. <laughs>
there's so much angst, there's so much energy, there's so much passion in what they're doing. It's just so good. They're such badasses. Oh my God. This is only the third song of theirs, but man, I'm really digging. Okay, so before I get to that next part, uh, in my last reaction to their original song, I said that, you know, they were a really cool band. Uh, and I talked about how, uh, you know, the, their music really wasn't uh, and like outstanding at any point really. And then that I had been wondering in my mind, I believe it was that, you know, whether because they were from Indonesia and there's not very much exposure to music there maybe, or not as much as in other countries, even though they do have some exposure. I mentioned that, you know, that maybe they weren't like real uh, advanced in their playing and all that. And that was during one of my pauses. But then when I unpaused it and played the rest of the song, the bass player just let off with a lick that just blew me away. She was a really badass bass player. And I also talked about the vocalist here, I'm not sure of her name, that she didn't have a really big range. She sang well, but didn't have a big range. But in this song, she has a bigger range than the previous one, especially when she first came in, when she said killing in the name of, uh, just with that higher register, she just seems to have a bigger range here. So, you know, I don't know, maybe in other songs, she can reach some, some, you know, levels with her voice that I haven't heard yet. I don't know, but this sounds really good. That bass part at the beginning where it's playing those dun, 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 notes, whatever that bass player was doing by herself it sounded really cool. It sounded pretty much like the the original song, but yeah, this, they're doing a good job of this, even though, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of this band, uh, Rage Against the Machine. I've always liked this song. It's a pretty cool song, and they're doing really good on it. like that little that combination of rage and passion which is like you know they're really living the song right now and I love that bass solo and then the guitar solo they are it's it's funny because I haven't heard them um, I, I, I knew that they're great musicians you know I love that songs that I've heard so far but I really love like what they're doing with the song and how they're making it like their own it's just so powerful it's really freaking inspiring and powerful Oh, power! I love these girls so much. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, so liberating.
my favorite part coming up. Oh my god, pure rage, so much energy, they are so talented, they are so freaking talented, alright, what is happening, are they gonna do more, they are so good, they are just, the drummer, they are they're just kicking my ass, so, Sahabat so harmonik pecinta musik, bagaimana menurut anda tanggapan mereka I dalam reaksi Fiobi? Silahkan jangan sungkan untuk mengisi kolom komentar untuk meninggalkan jejak, dan saya sangat mengucapkan banyak terima kasih atas kunjungannya, sampai jumpa lagi di lain kesempatan, semoga kita semua sehat selalu, bye.